everybody, my name is Allie and I'm an intern at the Headwaters Science Center. Today we're going to be talking about Punnett squares. A Punnett square is a graph that represents the different possible genotypes an offspring can inherit from their parents. Another word for genotype would be traits. Punnett squares are also used to predict certain traits that might show up in human offspring. Some that you might be familiar with are eye color, whether you have blue, brown, hazel, or green eyes, hair color, whether you have blonde, brown, or black hair, dimples, freckles, a widow's peak, which shows up at the top of your head whether you have a little peak there or you don't, and a cleft chin. If you have visited the Headwater Science Center, you've probably met Rosie the turtle. Rosie is unique because she's albino. That means she lacks the pigmentation that would give her her normal colors. However, her parents have this pigmentation. Today, we're going to be using Punnett squares to solve the mystery as to why Rosie is albino and her parents are not. I'm going to begin making my Punnett square by making a box with four quadrants. I will be labeling the top for Rosie's mom and labeling the side for Rosie's dad. Today, we will be using the letter A to represent whether the parents and offspring are albino or not. Both of Rosie's parents have an uppercase and a lowercase a. We call the lowercase a the recessive allele, which represents albinism. However, both parents have an uppercase a, which we call dominant. This would give them their normal pigmentation. Now let's look at the baby turtles. So, offspring number one looks like they have two uppercase a's. Both of these are dominant, so that means they'll have their normal pigmentation. Baby turtle number two has an uppercase A and a lowercase a, so that means they have the dominant allele, which would give them their normal pigmentation. They do, however, have a lowercase a, so if they were to ever have baby turtles one day, they could possibly be albino as well. Now, baby turtle number four has two lowercase a's. Baby turtle number one, two, and three all have the normal pigmentation. However, baby turtle number four is albino, and that would be Rosie. Let's switch it up and say that Rosie's mom is albino, so she has two lowercase a's. When you have two lowercase a's or two uppercase alleles, we call those homozygous. Homo, the prefix, means the same. Now, if we look at Rosie's dad, he has an uppercase a and a lowercase a. They're different, so we call those heterozygous. The prefix hetero means different. Let's take a look at this Punnett square. Baby turtle number one has an uppercase and a lowercase a. That means they have the normal pigmentation. So does baby turtle number two. But when we get to baby turtle number three, they have two lowercase a's. So that would make that baby an albino as well as the fourth one. So, unlike the first Punnett square we drew, the first and second are not albino, but the third and fourth are. Visit the Headwater Science Center if you'd like to learn more about Punnett squares and genetics. Thanks for watching!